Hi everybody, Ed from Vids here and welcome back to another video tutorial. In today's video, we're going to look at how to create a GIF thumbnail, just like this one. Okay, so let's jump into the video. The first thing that you need to do is head to vids.co and sign up for a free account if you don't already have one. Okay, so once you've logged in and you're within the vids dashboard, go ahead and click the new video button. Give your video a title. Have to use that correctly. Um, select custom size. We're going to make a GIF, so let's make it 450 by 450, so it's not such a big file. And then click create your own. And we're loaded into the vids creator. We have the video canvas here in the middle. We have our element options at the top, our scene list at the bottom. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our video snippet to the canvas. So you can upload from your computer using the upload button, or you can go ahead and search the stock video too. Going to choose this one, resize it to fill the full canvas. I'm going to select the playback time. Let's give it a custom timing of four or five seconds. Let's play that. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Something's happening during the video, that's perfect. The next thing we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and add the rectangle shape. Let's drag that into the middle, make it a bit more of a rectangle. This is gonna be the background of our play button. So we're gonna go ahead, remove the border width, change the fill color to black and change the transparency to about here. It's about 65%. We can also add small border radius, let's say five pixels, just to give it a little bit of a smoother edge. Okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and add the triangle shape. Resize it. Out there looks good. Remove the border and update to about there, let's say that's about 80% fill. Next, we're going to click the advanced button here, scroll down, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees to the right. And then we're going to drag it into the middle as well. And that's our play button over the center. Let's just get that perfect in the place so it looks balanced. There we go. Pretty good. It's probably a bit big. so. It's actually easier to resize it when it's in its original position. So I'll just reset it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Maybe not quite so long. Something like that. Put it back to 90 degrees. And then crack it in the center there. Okay, so now we have the play button over the top of our dynamic background. Going to go ahead, click save. Going to go for download. We're going to choose this switch to GIF option. And then we're going to download it using either our membership or we can render it with a watermark if you're on the free version of vids. So once that's rendered, you can go ahead and download it and simply drop it into your email. And then you've got a really cool effect of having a thumbnail for your videos, which are gonna look more dynamic because they're gonna be animated and you're gonna get a lot more click-through rates. And it will look a little bit like this. Awesome, really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, goodbye.